Hello, my name is Anubhav Swami and in this video I'll talk about Cisco Secure Firewall Cloud Native and I will cover deployment and configuration. Cisco Secure Firewall Cloud Native is available in Amazon Container Marketplace. We have created a quick start that will let you deploy entire infrastructure with a quick start. So when you use, use Quick Start, you can deploy your SFCN architecture in a new VPC or in an existing VPC. You can even add a tenant into your existing installation. The entire CFT or Quick Start is designed in such a way that it will help you provision your base infrastructure. It will build your EKS cluster. It will deploy optional components like SFC and redirector in Elastic Cache, and it will also configure your Route 53 and zones. Now, uh, the uh, use case that you can solve with this particular architecture is uh, is RA VPN. So we have built a built YAML files to, to help you deploy RA VPN that can load balance traffic based on Route 53 or it can help you uh, load balance based on uh, VPN sessions. On the management and configuration side, you can use kubectl and YAML if you want to use infrastructure as core, or if you are into UI, you can also onboard your cluster into Cisco Defense Orchestrator. Now, when you go to a marketplace, you will see uh, Cisco Secure Firewall Cloud Native BYOL offer. You can then click on continue to subscribe. Uh, then you can you click on continue to configure. Now on this page for delivery method, you will select cloud formation, quick start, and you will use uh, 1.0, that is our first release for Cisco Secure Firewall Cloud Native. Now on, on the next page, on launch this software page, you will be presented with three options. First option is to deploy Cisco Secure Firewall Cloud Native cluster into a new VPC. And if it is your greenfield deployment, you will choose new VPC. If you want to add uh, SFCN into an existing VPC, you can click on the second link and third option will let you add a tenant to your existing SFCN cluster. Now for deployment, it's really easy for this particular video. I'm focusing on deploying SFCN on a new VPC so or in a new VPC so on the first page I'll be presented with the name of the stack then I will define keys that I will be using for deploying this infrastructure then I will define my EKS admin ARN so that my quick start will use that username to deploy resources into my account now on the next page where I'll define my basic configuration for uh, control plane and data plane and then I will define my elastic IP address in this example I'm assigning elastic IP address to inside interface and outside interface of my CNFW because I want to form uh, REVPN on on outside interface and then DC backhaul on inside interface and for this example I'm also enabling elastic cache because intention for this um, video or demo is to show you how we can share our VPN session information with uh, with Elastic Cache and utilize that load balancing. Now, uh, on this particular page, you can you can see that for for. Uh, roles I have, I'm defining VPN redirector because I'm enabling VPN redirector um, a role in my SFCN architecture. I have enabled uh, auto scaling. I have given token for 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 my CNMW registration. Uh, I have a sp I have left other options at default. Now uh, on this particular page, I will define 
my keys so that I can authenticate and have a secure communication with Redis database. And I will be using enabled for in transit encryption. And then I have the last option that I will specify here is namespace. So I will leave it at default with that is SFCN dash system. Now I here on this screen, I can define my CIDR range. So by default, uh, this quick start will deploy public interface one, two, private interface or private subnet one, two, and public interface one, two. So you can customize your side range here if there is an overlap of this network with customer's infrastructure. Once you are done with that, you leave all the other options at default and then click on these two check boxes and click on create stack. Depending upon, in, depending upon resources that you have selected and region in which you are trying to deploy this infrastructure, your uh, stack will take around 15 to 20 minutes. So once your stack is available, once you have your Cisco Secure Firewall Cloud Native Infrastructure or cluster up and running, there are two ways to manage uh, that cluster. Uh, using kubectl and yaml there is a github link i have added here on this um, slide and i will be pasting that link in the description of this video as well you can refer uh, you can go to our github uh, uh, repository and check our sample yaml files and you can use those files to configure your devices and you can also onboard your devices on Cisco Defense Orchestrator and use UI to configure uh, your uh, SFCM cluster. Here is a sample configuration file for interface configuration. In this configuration, I have management interface outside and inside, and I'm using DHCP on all these interfaces. So this is a basic uh, YAML example. You can add your configuration in this in this YAML file. This is how you will create your objects using YAML, a sample for network object. Uh, this is a YAML sample for access control list or ACL. And then we have a YAML file that can help you configure your RA VPN and enable load balancing as well. So this is our, uh, this is our YAML file that will define uh, in the RAVPN configuration, it will define your RAVPN profile and the entire end-to-end -end configuration in a single file. So again, this is a continuation of the previous file. In this file, I'm defining my images. I'm enabling my uh, a web VPN on my CNFWs. I can then onboard my cluster using token and my resource URL. So once your stack is deployed and if you go to output of your stack, you will find CDO token and you will also find um, the uh, address for that particular resource. So you can onboard it into CDO. I have covered everything in the demo as well, which is part of the um, part of the same playlist. If you watch that, it has end-to-end -end deployment of Cisco Secure Firewall Cloud Native. With this, I have reached end of the video. Thank you for watching.